Last week, 14 average Joes began dating Larissa. Wow, look at that volcano. Oh, my God. And they went all out in Hawaii to win a place in her heart. I'm not really fat. I just, I'm retaining a lot of water right now. <laughs> Several guys have strong feelings for the former Miss USA beauty queen, model, and artist. I definitely feel the beginning sensations of love. Hey there. This is the best day of my life. But six more learned their affections will not be returned as they were sent home. This last decision is probably the hardest that I've had to make so far. But I have to say goodbye to Donato. As far as I'm concerned, it's really a weight issue, and it just really goes to show how shallow people can be. Good luck. Tonight, the remaining eight compete with each other for the chance to take Larissa on romantic dates. I'd really like to know if I can give you a kiss. It was like the first time that I actually gave my heart. You're just, you're so perfect. You're a stellar superstar. You're sweet. I feel pretty confident now, probably more so than I've felt so far. Unaware of the danger that's closing in. This paradise that these guys have been living in is about to become a nightmare. They have their hopes up. They think they're set. These guys will not know what hit them. Two worlds collide tonight. Oh. Testing the will of the average Joe. We all just kind of swallowed our hearts, and then we saw a drastic change to the game. Oh, my God. I didn't see that coming at all. beauty queen searching for her handsome Prince Charming. Instead, she meets a new breed of bachelor. This is the story of a beauty and the average Joe. Almost lost when I had said goodbye to Donato because I felt really bad. But I have to say goodbye to Donato. I mean, it's just like it seems kind of mean to just like send these guys home, but I guess they go into it knowing that ultimately they're going to be sent home except for one. Yes, I, I just expected it like not to be that hard. My faith in Larissa's perception <laughs> is 110%. I feel pretty confident we've made a pretty strong connection. And there were eight. We lost some good men. We lost no. some good men tonight. We lost some real good soldiers. I'm ecstatic. I'm still here. You know what I mean? The, the eight of us. Yeah. This is, I'm excited. We've had 18 guys here, and we're down to eight. I'm going to miss the guys that have left. They were a good bunch. But to be honest with you, I'm very very pleased that I'm still here. You know, I've come really close to you guys in the last couple weeks here and uh... I feel pretty good about my standings. I'm still being here. I'm comfortable in my seat uh, and where I sit right now. Well, who knows how many are going to get eliminated next, I guess. I don't know. I have to say, as far as looking around and everybody else, it does seem to be a, a good even playing field because we are all average looking fellas. You know, if I was competing against a playboy, I'd have to use what I could to make sure he's taken out. this group has to offer a lot of what a lot of society is missing, which is character, not being so self-centered and, you know, locked up in what your looks are. You know, I think my chances are 50-50. Damn. 
I can picture myself as the last man standing, but it's going to be tough. I think the biggest competition right now is Tony. I feel very confident in my position and how I stand with Larissa. When we talk, I feel that she responds to me the way I respond to her, and I feel confident that I'll be sticking around. I am starting to have feelings for her, and it is really scary. You know, I mean, there's eight guys that, that have feelings for her, and I'm just one of the eight. As I've gotten to know all the different fellows, you know, they all have their different quirks and personalities, which I think can come through, you know. It is a relief that I'm not competing against the tall, dark, and handsome guys. This paradise that these guys have been living in is about to become a nightmare. They've been spending a, a week or so with this girl, and it's a shame that they've spent all this time, but there's a new sheriff in town. that are with her right now think that they're the only guys in town. They don't know that we're coming, and we're definitely giving them a run for their money. When I walk through the door, they're going to have this to deal with. Nice guys finish last, right? And I don't plan on that. So if the, if the game calls for it, I'm just going to have to, you know, suck it up and be a little, a little nasty. These guys are in paradise right now. They all got the girl to themselves, but when we come in, we're gonna take things over. I feel pretty confident now, probably more so than I felt so far, and we're all just so relieved that you know we're not competing against. Joe billionaire, you know? Very nice, my friend. <laughs> There's eight more of us left now. I can see myself as the last man standing without a doubt. I think I have a really good shot overall. You know, it's when you when you kind of hit it off with somebody, you hit it off, you know? It's not to say that a shocker couldn't happen, but I'm not expecting it. hopes up. They think they're set. They think they got it in good, but they have no idea what's coming for them. Think of us as a torpedo in the water. These guys will not know what hit them. They're just in for the shock of their lives. These guys stand no chance. Uh, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to just compete with myself. I'm not going to even worry about the other guys because there really are no competition. I'm charming. I'm smart. I'm funny. I search and destroy. First of all, I want to see the looks on their faces because they, they think they have everything taken care of. They think that it's all theirs. They think that this girl is theirs. And then when we come in there, they're going to start to get nervous. That's what I'm looking to do. I have an extremely hard time understanding people that don't take pride in themselves and how they look. You can look at those other guys and make your judgment, but the guys that we're coming in with look good. Basically, a group of a total package that a woman would want. In jocks versus geeks, jocks always win. It's completely an unfair matchup. You just <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> when we come back, the average Joe's show heart in the toughest challenge yet. Hell no, I'm not gonna quit! Unaware that the real competition is closing in. They should just pack up right now and go home. They really should. How will they face the new arrivals when their ship comes in tonight? Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are in beautiful Hawaii. We got a big race today, a bunch of hungry contestants. We're gonna run a triathlon. We're kind of calling it a guyathlon, so we're all excited. Everybody wants to win. 
We don't exactly know what the prize is going to be for the winner, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty great. So I'm pretty excited to get out there, and I'm going to try my hardest to win. Today is the biggest challenge of my entire life. I've never swam before, and then I've never rode a bike past a big wheel before today. So I don't know how to do two of the three events. Hi, gentlemen. Hello. So as you may know, Hawaii the Big Island is home to the Ironman Triathlon. All eight guys came out to compete in our triathlon, which included a bit of swimming around a buoy. You got to swim out to it and back, and biking, and a little bit of running. So today we're going to have our own little version. I'm going to be out on this boat, so when you guys hear the gun, I want you to bring it on. Good luck. Tony behind me, man, I knew going into this that he was going to be tough competition. I was looking at Mike. When I see someone in front of me, that makes me drive harder. I hate losing. I anticipated the water to be a bit easier than it was. You know, I just started getting fatigued right off the bat. But, you know, I kept pressing on, trying as hard as I could, you know, trying not to take on as much water as I did in the snoob adventure. Come on, guys, don't quit. Keep going. You're doing great. I was out watching all the guys, and all of a sudden, I noticed Brian Worth stopped, and he's yelling for help. Oh my god, Brian needs help. It felt like the perfect storm was out there, 50-foot uh, seas. You know, it was a mayday situation. I had to be rescued. I'm not happy with myself. I got disqualified because I got rescued. I and me and I am not. These other guys have no skills. I'm sure I can get in there. They'll be taking some notes. They'll be looking from the sidelines. This is going to be pretty much uh, taking candy from a baby. I'm very athletic. I do sports. I've been successful in everything I do. Wrestling, baseball. None of the other guys are not going to be any problems for me. We're going to come in, no sympathy. We're going to take no prisoners. We're just going to come in, do our thing, and come back uh, with the girl. Come on, Fredo! Tom, you guys are doing great! Thomas Grande was swimming really hard, and he happened to be closer to where I was in the boat watching the race. So he was trying. All of a sudden, he's like, I can't make it. I got, you know, most of the way back, and I got a little tired, you know. I wasn't going to risk driving over it, so I called him over. Tony was constantly behind me. I didn't want to, like, stop and turn around and try and figure out where he was, but just that feeling brought out the competitive drive. For your support. I looked at David and I was like, man, he is not giving up, and I have to admire that. I'm doing it for Larissa, I'm doing it for the guys, I'm doing it for myself. I think it's so great that you're not giving up and that you're going for it no matter how long it takes. Hell no, I'm not gonna quit! <laughs> <laughs> I hear there's a bunch of guys on this island who uh, who aren't in the best of shape. I'm athletic, I play a lot of sports, and I've got a feeling that these other guys just don't have that anywhere near in their possibility. The cream rises to the top and survival of the fittest. Michael won the race, but my first thought was like, wow, he really wanted to show me something. And he wanted to make up for that first time that we talked. How are you feeling? Tired? Pretty tired, but I was hoping that there was going to be a prize and it had something to do with you, so. I guess you'll have to wait and find out. I'm definitely excited to win. I'm stoked. I learned my lesson as far as letting these chances slip by. That's what I said before, man. I wasn't going to get second place. Not today. All right, Tony! Good job! Come on! Come on, Fredo! You're doing great! Way to go! Way to go! Good job! Good job! Okay! Sean, 
I was worried about in the beginning. I thought he was going to have a tough time, but I was pleasantly surprised that he kept pushing through when some of the other guys gave up. Come on, Sean! Come on, Charlie! Good job! He's got a lot of heart for taking the courage to just finish, even though when he knew he wasn't going to win. I knocked out the swimming. I think it showed you know, my perseverance and my determination to get it done. There was not one single solitary moment where I thought I'd give up. He would not give up on the swimming. He didn't care how silly he looked. And it took him like five times as long as everybody else, but he kept pushing and kept pushing. And I, I really admire David for that. Um, I never learned how to ride a bike, and I tried earlier this afternoon. And for safety issues, I have to buy a lot of things. After David's amazing finish with the swimming portion of the race, he was disqualified from the bike riding because it would be too dangerous because he had never ridden a bicycle before. Well, I'm very impressed with today's swim, and I'll definitely keep that in mind, and that means a lot to me that you kept going, so. Good job. I just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for the incredible effort. I'm honored that you guys all took part in this, and you guys did an amazing job. And there is a first place prize, which is a private date, which goes to Mike. I'm excited for my date with Larissa, and you know, I don't know what to expect. Let's have to go into it with an open mind and, you know, not have any preconceived ideas of what type of girl she is. I was really kind of happy that he won because it gave him an opportunity that I may not have given him to go on a private date. And just as important to me, for the guy that kept pushing through and wouldn't quit until he finished, who finished last, also gets a private date, Sean. I was really looking forward to a date with Sean because what I've gotten to know from him so far, he seems like a really nice down-to-earth guy. Yeah, it was really cool that I got the honorary, like, hard award, but, uh, you know, it says last place, you know? Like, I couldn't have said something better, like, you know, Braveheart. Just to see them go out there and give it their all was probably the most flattering thing I've ever seen a group of eight guys do for me. In a moment... Aren't you excited? Mike takes Larissa on a dream date and shares his most intimate secrets. Then Sean's fantasy night with Larissa. Good. And before it's over, he will face his insecurities. Then later, the elimination night they never saw coming. A door is about to open, and suddenly... Right now, everything is about to change. On a date with Mike, we're going parasailing because he won the triathlon competition. Parasailing. I really had to earn this chance, and, and I just really wanted to show her that I am serious about her and, and that I do care. Oh, my. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. We were talking, and all of a sudden we looked out and we saw these dolphins like jumping through the water like they were dancing just for us. It was so cool. And two of them swimming oh. by a boy and a girl. They're so cute. complete 360 view of the horizon. You can see the water until it meets the sky. It was beautiful. When I was 
up pairing something with Mike, I think he felt comfortable enough to reveal some things about himself and the fact that he's been through a rough background and it was a lot for me to take in. I was like, drug addict. Uh -huh. Probably like uh, 94, I think. I can't put it into words, just how I felt to, to finally be like open again, letting someone in again is really tough for me. So where are you taking me to? Off yonder? After parasailing, I decided it would be really nice to just take, take a walk. So I thought we'd hang out here, set up shop. I'm starting to develop, you know, some, some pretty strong feelings for it, you know? I mean, it's scary on one hand, and it's, uh, you know, I mean, it feels pretty good on the other to start stepping out in that direction again after, you know, being out of the game for so long. I was curious to know why you said, like, for the last year you haven't been out on a date. Oh, yeah. So why See, is that? Like, you know what? what? I, got, I got hurt. I got hurt pretty badly. I was with someone, and I really, it was like the first time that I actually, like, for real gave my heart fully to someone, and it didn't work out. He was like, in love with this girl. And one of the first things that I thought about is, I've probably been that girl before. You know, and seeing how that affected him, it kind of made me feel bad. Well, there's something else I haven't done in a year What's or that? so. You know, i really like to know if I can give you a kiss. Mm -hmm. I kind of forgot how to do that. I, I think I might need another. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> because Mike hadn't been kissed in a year, I kind of felt like I wanted to have a good time and let him have a good time, and it's not that big a deal. So I think we have to have a toast to that. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, cheers to that. that was good now. When I kissed her, I felt like a natural. Whew. You know, I felt like, you know, the, the old me was, was coming back out. It's good. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. I've seen a huge transformation in him in just a couple days. But that also kind of scares me, the fact that he's changed so much in just a few days. So I just want to say thank you for today. I'm glad that you won, and I'm glad that we got a chance to, like, open up and talk to each other. So look forward to some more. It was by far the best date that I ever had. Bye. Bye. It, it was just... Great. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome beyond words. I've been doing a lot of cooking here. The guys are enjoying it. It's what I do. So uh, I planned out a date with Larissa to showcase some of my culinary talent. Thanks again. Hey, Sean. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. You look good. Oh, thank you. How are you feeling? Great, great, Fantastic. great. Fantastic. My date with Sean started off great. I know that he is pretty renowned in Philadelphia for being a great chef. Here's the great night with uh, the most pretty woman on the island. Oh, thank you. Cheers. You can't, like, win a girl's heart by cooking, but you can definitely get an in. Did you recover from the race? Yeah, I yeah I'm, still, I'm still a little bit hurting, but uh, I'm not going to yeah. tell you that because I'm a manly man. <laughs> He got really into showing me how to cut the sushi, did that whole dish, it went perfect. All right, let's put these guys back over. Boy, it is hot back here, huh? Yeah, it is definitely hot back there. And then when we got into cooking the entree, it was really hot back there. Wow, look at that. Not a whole lot of room to move in. And I noticed he was getting a little warm. It was hot, you know, I just started sweating. And, uh, you know, I was getting self-conscious about that. I'm like, fat guy sweating, fat guy sweating, not good. The pressure was on at that point, but uh, just stuck to my original game plan. You know, you know, I know what I'm doing in the kitchen, so uh, I went with it and just came out with a great meal. You've absolutely got to try the cherries. They're phenomenal. Mm. That's a special one right there. Because Sean spent all day working so hard on this great dinner for me, I thought, you know, I want to invite him back to the jacuzzi to relax. Oh, that's hot. It's yeah. almost a little hot. If you could even say it's hot, right? Yeah. Going into the hot tub, I was pretty self-conscious. I'm like, you know, I'm the last fat guy on the island. I'm hoping that she gets the personality. Otherwise, she's like, this guy's fat. Move slow. Get slow. used to it. I could tell he was kind of starting to tense up a little bit because he had to obviously put on his swimming trunks and I was in a bikini. So I'm sure he was checking me out, and I'm sure that he was aware that I was checking him out. Wow, that is kind of hot. <laughs> 
it got a little awkward and I was trying to make myself as available as I could to him to make him feel comfortable. I know I'm not like the physical, you know, stud, but uh, it's definitely something I want to fix, you know, I don't always want to be, you know, the fat funny guy, <laughs> you know, I want to be just the funny guy. I really like Sean, but I normally don't go for guys that don't physically take care of themselves. It's as simple as that. You just have to make the choice to do it. All right. Sean is a little heavy on the heavy side, and I would really like to see him take the initiative to take care of himself and have a healthy body. You know, I, I definitely hope that, you know, I'm someone that you could, you know, foresee yourself hanging out with a little more. I think you're awesome, and uh, you know, I appreciate you giving me the time and hanging out with me and, and being as cool as you are. You make it easy to talk to. So thank you very much. It's been so cool. I've been very pessimistic. You know, it's, it's not often that models want to date fat guys. But uh, I feel great. I think the date went well and that, uh, you know, maybe more will come. And uh, I, I look forward to seeing you again. I don't know why Sean didn't kiss me. I think Sean didn't try and kiss me because he was too nervous. The fact that he was in a bathing suit and I was in a bathing suit, maybe he felt a little uncomfortable. We were saying our goodbyes, and uh, you know, I think I blew a genuine opportunity to have a good night kiss. Oh boy. So thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, he like had every opportunity to just go for a kiss. And I could see it in his eyes. He wanted to do it, but he, he wasn't sure. You know, he wasn't sure how I would react. Yeah, I'm like kicking myself in the butt right now. Definitely. Right on. So long. Yeah, one, more. Right. one more. One more sugar. Okay. If I could do it all again, I definitely want to give her a good night kiss. You're the best. But I'm a big dummy, so I didn't. Good night. Good night. I could be the first reality TV guy of all time to not have taken advantage of a kiss in the hot tub. When we come back... There's been a change of plans. The night that changes it all. We all just kind of swallowed our hearts, and then we saw a drastic change to the game. They thought it was their island. It is a relief that I'm not competing against the tall, dark, and handsome guys. But there's trouble in paradise for the average Joe. I'm really excited. It's going to be fun to see the looks on their faces when I walk through the door. that these guys have been living in is about to become a nightmare. In jocks versus geeks, jocks always win. These guys will not know what hit them. They're just in for the shock of their lives. I'm just gonna be a little nasty. <laughs> We're gonna come in, no sympathy. We're gonna take no prisoners. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> How about that boat out there? That this boat. boat. Do you think it might be here for us? That'd be nice, huh? Yeah. That could be the next date. Yeah. Take a cruise on the boat. I wonder if she's on that boat. Could be. She's not out. We just weren't sure what was going to happen. There's a lot of anticipation and a lot of, a lot of emotion going on in the room right now. I think everyone's a little nervous because she's going to be sending some guys home. Yeah, cool. but like, all right, so now she comes and picks someone up. It's either for a private date or you're going home. So <laughs> you don't know what to feel. When there's less people, there's more of a chance that you're going to go. I don't think anybody feels 100% confident in terms of them being able to stay. Larissa has to make a cut tonight, and she has to pick, I don't know, one or two out of eight. Oh, this is gonna be an intense night. Oh, she's out, she's out, she's out. Oh, Hi, guys. Hey, David. Goodness. How you doing? Good to see you. Here we are on the third elimination, and my thoughts just flip back and forth. I probably honestly don't know until I actually walk down there and look them in the eyes, and I have to make up my mind at that moment. Hey, Fredo. Good to see you. Yeah. How you been? We're anticipating you coming off this boat over here for some reason. Now, I'm wondering about the same thing. I have no idea what it's about. It was kind of a shock when Larissa first came into the party because we were all still expecting something to happen with the boat. And then she came in with that incredible dress. And Fredo and I just kind of looked over and we're just like, wow. It was almost, you know, the sunshine. And I, you know, she was just, she looked beautiful, absolutely, without a doubt. 
Who's nervous? I'm Anybody nervous? nervous? I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. anxious. I'm not anxious. Nervous. Tonight I'm going to have to eliminate some more guys, and it's going to be really tough. The biggest criteria that I'm judging these guys on is how well they are with me one on one. Hi there. Hi, Brian. How are you? You look great. Oh, thank you. I think my head might be on the chopping block tonight. I felt, you know, this is the least confident I felt. The other rounds, I felt a little more comfortable. Brian Glazer just, he hasn't, he hasn't sparkled to me. He hasn't opened up. And I'm sure he's still nervous, but I really, really want to see him just do something that's just going to blow me away. All right, I prepared this a little bit, so hopefully I uh, say it right, so bear with me. Okay. I certainly can't cook a great meal for you like Sean. I certainly can't paint for you or sculpt for you like Tony or Michael. But what I can do is when we go out, hopefully, is uh, make you smile, make you laugh, and hopefully we can become friends first, and then maybe with a little more time, we can be much more. So I'm just asking for a little more time. Oh, that's so sweet. Right. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I was focusing on the words, but more so just locking onto her eyes and hoping that she felt what I said. <laughs> the tension is building, I'll tell you. <laughs> it really is. I'm uh, a little nervous, a little anxious. Make sure to tell her how great she looks. Absolutely. Hi, Larissa. How are you? Good. It's good to you see you. Mm. You look awesome. Oh, well, thank you. And I have something to say to you. The other day, you asked me, um, you know, what I might be good at. I, um, I'm a good listener. I, um, I'm a good friend. I'm very loyal. I'm not very good at many things. Those are the things that I'm best at, being a good friend. And I want you to keep me around for a little while longer. I'm a little nervous about getting eliminated. I didn't shine in the Ironman event yesterday, the guy Athlon. So I wanted to make sure that I reinforced that I am a good person and I'm very interested in her. I don't want to be sent home tonight without her knowing that. Hey, Ben, how you doing? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe you stood by me the whole way I was in that water. I was just so... I, I melted. Mm. You're just, you're so perfect. You're a stellar superstar. Mm. You're sweet. Mm. She is phenomenal. I called her a stellar superstar, because that's what she is. <laughs> He's still a little out there for me to really seriously consider him in a romantic relationship. But I do like David. I think he's a bundle of energy. I'll tell you what, guys. It's been a, it's, it's been a good deal hanging out with all you guys. Yes, We're sir. We're down to the nitty gritty, and you know I know these nights hurt everybody, but uh, they do. You know whether I go or somebody else goes, you know it, it was definitely awesome hanging out with you guys. Yes, sir. Let's go. Cool. Cheers to that one. With that. It's like moving in with a bunch of brothers. Right. right after I had the one-on-one -on -one session, it hit me that I had to decide who was going to go home. And I can see like tonight, talking to all these guys, they really want to be here. And the hardest part is going to be to like look them in the eyes and tell them that they have to go home. When we come back... Right now, everything is about to change. The elimination night that changes everything. Oh, my God. Will it be paradise lost for the average Joe? I didn't see that coming guys think they're the only ones on the island, but obviously they're not, and they're gonna be in for a big surprise when we get there. We're basically a giant wrecking ball coming in to destroy. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they should just pack up right now and go home. They really should. And these guys are in trouble because they just can't handle what's coming at them. It's gonna be disturbing for them. It bothers me not one bit that these other guys have had start on me. I'm gonna pick up right where they leave off and they're gonna watch from the sidelines. I'm really excited. It's gonna be fun to see the looks on their faces when I walk through the door.
walk down the stairs and I see all the guys lined up, my stomach goes into my throat. I get so nervous, my heart starts pounding, my palms start getting sweaty, and I just dread having to look these guys in the eyes and tell them that I'm saying goodbye. I've just been told that things are going to be a little different tonight and that there's a note for me to read. There's been a change of plans. No one will be sent home tonight. When we found that there wasn't going to be any cuts, we were all very, very excited. We were all hugging each other and slapping high fives. It was an exciting moment. Larissa then passed out some glasses of champagne. It's like a victory glass, because I'm still sticking around, and, and the rest of the guys are still sticking around. I'm so happy and relieved to not have to send anybody home tonight. So cheers. 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 I was really happy that there was no elimination, but then came another note. I was kind of expecting maybe we'd seen a yacht out there earlier that maybe someone was going to get a date with her on the yacht. This night of surprises is not over. Right now, everything is about to change. I'm Jim. Jim nice hey, to meet you. nice to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you. The first gentleman walked through the door, and I was under the assumption that he was the captain of the ship and was going to invite us out. And he walked up to Larissa and gave her the handshake, and I was like, mm, this isn't going that way. Going through my head was, wow, you know, now th this is this is a good twist. There's, there's one guy who's going to come in and be like Joe Smooth and, and go against the average guys. But next thing you know, it's they just started cloning each other. I'm Sherry. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We all just kind of swallowed our hearts, and then we saw a drastic change to the game. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. As they came out, I just like kind of looked down and got more down on myself, and uh, and then I looked over at her, and she had this huge smile on her face, and that was probably the toughest part of the night to, to see how happy she was to see those guys. Pleasure to meet you. I was totally surprised, but I was mad for one reason. You know, we kind of looked like a bunch of chumps. It's a slap in my face and all my buddies here. 
No way, dude. Like each one coming through and looking better than the next one. Ah, uh, stomach stabbing me. It's like, uh, one more, one more. It was a very slow motion. The way the guys kept coming through the door, I was like, man, when is it gonna stop? Hey, sir. I'm Michael. Hey, Michael. It's a pleasure meeting you. Good to meet you. Looking forward to getting to know you better. Welcome. The tension was just building it up. You really, literally could cut it with a knife. I was just pretty angry, knowing that it was gonna get so much tougher than it already is. You know, it was a deep blow, for sure. I felt helpless. We are starting from scratch, essentially, with superficially a better set of guys. Gentlemen, where are your new roommates? and your new competition. Next week, the battle lines are drawn. Stand up, freedom. This isn't like the uh, royal parliament. Right off the bat, it's an us against them attitude. First impression, not so good. <laughs> this time, the attacks are personal. That shows like, do you think you're above me? Do you think you're above me? Yes. I can push buttons, but it was almost too easy. Are you an ass? The new twists push them all to the very edge. Am I this fat No, dude, do you no, know? because I mean, when I, really, listen. do I look like a fat ball? When was that? You? I can make him miserable for him. I really can. I don't want to be part of that, man. It's a matter of pride. I definitely don't want to be known as, like, the, the fat guy. I want to get the girl in the end. Of honor. I'm talking to you because you're standing straight up in my face. Nobody is going to come into my house and push me or any of my buddies around. <laughs> <laughs> and with a beautiful woman at stake, their hearts will be on the line to the very end. I'm definitely falling in love with Theresa. You know, those other guys are great, but I am what she's looking for. The next great showdown of looks versus charm begins next week on Average Joe. They're like T2s, they're like cyborgs. All my insecurities from in sixth grade are coming out right now. That was a move and you know it. This is our house still. Are you drinking too? Why don't you just tape it to your ass? I don't give a This very moment is the time to be pissed off. It felt like the perfect storm was out there. Uh, 50 foot seas. I am man, I am not.